For the first time, uh, we've been able to put together three technologies in one single plant. We are optimizing the performance and we are optimizing the efficiency, taking all the resources that we have. The steel water plant is uh, an excellent example of uh, integration of existing technologies. Uh, solar PV, solar concentrated, and uh, your thermal uh, technology. The still water plant has been an evolution of uh, power plants, starting with the geothermal power plant, which was constructed back in 2008. What you see behind me right now is the Stillwater geothermal binary power plant. It uses uh, geothermal water pumped out of the ground. We heat a working fluid called isobutane. That working fluid's flashed into a superheated vapor, which drives turbines. Since it's an air-cooled process, um, it uses the ambient air temperature as the cooling medium. So it's a geothermal facility that's air-cooled, so you come out of the nighttime when it's cool, high power generation, and then that dips down during the course of the day as it warms up. So in the heat of the summer, uh, what power we were getting is all we were getting, which was minimal from a geothermal plant. The old project started uh, a few years ago because we had a problem. Still water at the time was not performing as we wanted it to perform. We worked on different solutions on how to improve the efficiency of the plant. And we came up with the, again, the first hybrid solution to put together a solar PV and, uh, and geothermal. 2012, we added the 26 megawatt DC photovoltaic facility. And recently, 2014, last year, installed CSP, the concentrated solar project. Originally, uh, anybody know this area, that was just a field. And uh, that process from first digging the first hole to connecting to the grid was like three and a half months. So it was very fast. As the geothermal power plant output drops off, the solar plant increases. And what ends up happening is you get this linear, almost a linear output uh, as the solar plant complements the geothermal plant. The concept of putting different technologies together, so the concept of uh, hybridization, how we call it, is, uh, is a big part of our innovation in the renewable field. We have really kind of two systems going on here. First, we have the photovoltaic plant, which operates in parallel to our geothermal plant. And then the CSP plant behind me is feeding heat energy into our geo, so you could say that they operate in series. The way that the plant handles that is it sees the effect of CSP as an increase to its brine inlet temperature, which is exactly what it does. So as it sees that brine inlet temperature go up, its isobutane header pressure comes up, and it starts making more power for us. What we're seeing is basically raising that power production level by adding the heat during the course of the day. So not only have we reduced the peaks and valleys, but now we've raised the entire curve up by having additional energy available to us. This is the first time three technologies, geothermal, solar photovoltaic, and solar CSP are operating like one. There is no other plant in the world that uses concentrated solar power to heat geothermal brine in order to run a binary process. It just doesn't exist. So when it comes to finding ways to operate the plant, we have to write the book every day. We have uh, signed a collaboration agreement with, uh, with institutions, with the National Renewable Energy Laboratory and Idaho uh, Energy Laboratory as well. Uh, organized and uh, supervised by the Department of Energy. The national laboratories have identified several modifications to solar field and power plant operations that could increase the performance of the Stillwater Geothermal Solar Thermal Hybrid Plant. We were approached by Enel Green Power. It made very good sense to combine their uh, practical boots on the ground experience with what we were doing at the national labs. Every day that I walk into the office, we're talking about new ideas, new technologies, new ways of operating the plant. The goal is to advance the overall state of geothermal, solar thermal hybrid plants. Positive results will then be used in next generation hybrid designs. Together, we end up with a better product. We end up with something that not only has good theoretical efficiency, but it's a very practical and reliable design. And ultimately, that's what power companies and energy companies want to build. And that's good for the consumer, it's good for the environment, it's good for clean air. We're in a unique position with the NEL because we have the technologies spread around the globe and a lot of opportunities to hybridize. 
So the lessons learned here get deployed overseas into other projects even in North America. It's the innovation that exists in our people that had the, had the forethought to apply these technologies and make the geothermal plant in still water even better than it was when it was originally constructed. And we are creating value in the communities on which we have presence. All in all, it's, it's tremendously rewarding to have challenges in front of you and then use your local teams in order to overcome these challenges and, and find a way to make the facility the best that it is. Combining technologies is a major step forward in the future of renewable energy technologies. I think Enel, by pioneering these technologies, is setting the standard across the world for what hybrid technologies, hybrid power plants, and renewable energy should be. And this is what really represents still water for us. Uh, uh, it's a symbol of change. Building plants more efficient, producing more with less. Everything can be done. It's just a matter of really believing uh, in, in what you're doing. And I think that uh, in, in Enel Green Power, there is really this, this feeling that you can do and achieve anything you want uh, if you really work on it.